Hello and welcome to the new Faculty Orientation Foundi Foundations in Adult Instruction course. My name is Katrina Stoops and I am your uh, primary course facilitator. In this video, I will give you a very quick tour of the course and I will show you how to navigate this course. So when you log into the new faculty orientation, the very first page you will see is the announcements page. Every week, I will be posting um, announcements, including video announcements. It is very important to look at the announcements posted under the announcements page regularly. Okay, now let's look at um, these links on the course menu. It's on the left side of the course. And the first link that um, we will explore is the course information. Under the course information, we have very important course information posted. So the first one is this orientation video that I'm recording right now. This video will be posted under this link. And then we have a course syllabus, a course schedule, and also course and technology expectations uh, documents. So these documents contain very important information about the course. Please review all these documents before you start working on your um, NFO assignments. The next link is faculty information. It's located right here, faculty information. Here you have a list of all facilitators that will be uh, facilitating the new faculty orientation. I am your primary course facilitator, but we also have other instructors who will be co-facilitating this course with me. And we have our names, contact information, short bio biographies, and pictures posted uh, here under, course, under the course information link. The next important link is the course content right here. So this is actually where your course, a course content is posted. NFO is a four week fully online course. So four weeks, four modules. So you'll see four modules right here under the course um, content link. The first module is titled week one getting oriented to teaching at CDU. Week two, taking a closer look at CDU's academic model. Week three, finding your route to CDU exemplary practices. In the final week, week four, arriving at your destination. Each module in this course is structured very similarly, kind of has similar look and feel. So you can find uh, course outcomes posted here and a list of all activities for that particular week with the due dates listed uh, here as well. Now, how do you get to your week one content? So let's just um, go to the week one module and look at the content. To get to your week one or module one content, you will need to click on this link, getting oriented to teaching at CityU. Um, and here we go. Here's your uh, week one content, including the assignments and all the activities that you will be required to work on in week one. Week one starts with a week um, overview and then a list of objectives for this week and a list of activities for this week. And then obviously each activity is in this week's folder. So the first one is a live webinar that we always uh, offer on the first day of the course. Then um, there is the introduction to teaching and learning in Blackboard course. This is actually not an assignment. It is a separate course that all NFO participants are required to work on in addition to working on the assignments in the foundations of adult instruction course. Basically, while you're taking an FO, you are taking, uh, you're working on two courses and both, both courses start on day one of an FO. So you will need to start working on the assignments in both courses right away. 
And then there is class discussion. That's where you will uh, post your introductions. We'll just click on this link and see how discussions work. So to open a discussion, you will need to click on the link, class discussion introductions, and create a thread and just post um, your uh, introduction. To subscribe uh, to a forum to receive uh, notifications about other posts, you can click on the subscribe button. This way you will see other posts uh, submitted by your colleagues in this course. Okay, let's go back to course content, week one, and then look at other activities in your week one module. There is a class deriv class delivery um, manual for instructors that you will need to review and a short quiz. Let's actually click on the quiz and see how quizzes work in Blackboard. To open the quiz, you will need to click on the link, week one quiz, and then click on begin button, and then you will be able to work uh, to take the questions. So I'm not going to uh, take the quiz, I'll click cancel. And then at the very bottom of your week one module, there is a link to your week uh, two or week module two content. So if you click on this link, you will jump directly to your module two. But if you want to go back to the course content, all those four modules that are listed on the page under the course content link, obviously you will need to click on the course content link again. And here we go. You are back to that page where all four modules are listed. Week two, week three, and week four, all these modules are structured very similar to um, how week one is structured, but let's just uh, take a quick look at what we have in uh, week, week two module. So click on the link again, and then you will see the content that you will need to be working on when your week two of NFO week two starts. Again, uh, your week two starts with the week overview, the list of objectives and activities for that week. And there's a lot of uh, reading. You will also be um, asked to watch videos and work on assignments. So all this is listed in this week two module. Let's actually click on this folder and look at a blog activity that you will be working on in week two. So there is this blog activity. Basically, you will be asked to record a video using Kaltura. And I just wanted to quickly show you how blogs work. So to uh, post on the, on the blog, you will need to click on the link, record your instructional strategy, and then click on create blog entry. And that's how you will be able to post your blog entry. And then uh, once you're done, uh, once you compose your blog entry, there's this button post entry, and your blog entry will be posted so that other course participants can see. I'm not going to post anything, I'll just click on cancel. But this is basically how blogs work. Okay, I will go back to the course content. Again, this is the area where all four modules, all your course content is listed in a chronological order. And this is how you will need to be navigating your course. So by clicking on the course content link. Then for your convenience, there's also two links in the menu, discussion board and assignments. If you want to um, check the discussion assignments specifically and just bypass uh, other course content, you can just go ahead and click on the discussion board link where all discussion board activities for the course are listed and the same for assignments. Under the assignments link, all assignments for this course are listed. But I just wanted to let you know, these two links are here for your convenience if you just want to go directly to the discussion 
po uh, board activities or the assignments but if you want to see all your all your course content in a chronological order then you will need to be using um, the course content link so that's a distinction let's just click on the uh, discussion board link and see what's there as already explained here we have all the discussion forums discussion board activities listed and the first one is actually very interesting it's a Q&A discussion forum this is a great forum for you to post questions and comments for example if you have a question about an assignment you're working on you can just go ahead and post your question there and I uh, subscribed to this discussion forum so here's a subscribe button I see your posts through my email but uh, you don't have to wait for me to respond to your questions if uh, your colleagues in the course know the answer to the questions that you posted then you can go ahead and post your answers and we also have this uh, Q&A uh, type forums in every course so that again it just works the same way for students if a student um, in the course has a question a student can post a question in this on this forum and then other students in the course can go ahead and respond that again just builds this community in uh, your class in order to now uh, get notifications for each post you will need to subscribe and the subscribe button here but to post a thread to actually like if you have a question and want to post in a discussion uh, forum you will need to click on create thread okay so let's go and explore the assignments link again as i have already mentioned this is where uh, all your assignments for this course are posted and the next important link is my grades right here this is obviously where your grades will be posted when we grade your assignments you will see your grades here and also you will see the feedback for each assignment and also this is where you can uh, get to the rubric each assignment in this course uh, has a rubric and we use a rubric to grade your submissions so please review a rubric for each assignment before you start working on the assignment and it works the same in other courses we at CDU we ask all instructors to use rubrics to grade student submissions and this is how rubrics will be displayed under the my grades link in blackboard I think this is um, all I wanted to uh, discuss today so that was just a quick overview of the course and I just felt that it was it would be very important to show how this course is designed how this course is structured and how to navigate this course once you start working on your NFO assignments and if you have any questions you can just go ahead and contact me uh, directly and um, I am always available not always but I am available to help you in this course